Are you considering taking amlodipine for your high blood pressure? It's important to be aware of the potential side effects associated with this medication before making a decision. In this video, we will discuss the truth about amlodipine side effects and the steps you can take to minimize their severity or how to reduce the chances of developing side effects in the first place. Just a quick reminder, information contained in this video is for educational purposes only and shall not be used as a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. With that said, let's jump in. Amlodipine is a commonly prescribed medication for high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. It belongs to a class of drugs called calcium channel blockers and works by preventing calcium ions from being released into vascular smooth muscles and heart muscles which causes blood vessels to relax and widen making it easier for the heart to pump blood and lowering blood pressure. Apart from hypertension, amlodipine is also prescribed for other conditions such as angina, chest pain, and coronary artery disease. It may be used alone or in combination with other medications to effectively manage these conditions. Amlodipine is available in 2.5 mg, 5 mg, and 10 mg. It can be taken with or without food, typically once a day. Just like all other medications, amlodipine may cause mild or moderate side effects. However most common side effects are usually mild and are dose-dependent and they often go away in a short time. The most common side effects of amlodipine includes 1. Swelling in the ankles and feet. Amlodipine can cause edema which is swelling in the ankles, feet, or hands. This side effect occurs because amlodipine relaxes and widens the blood vessels, which can cause fluid to accumulate in the lower extremities. This affects about 10% or more patients taking amlodipine. There are several strategies you can try to reduce its severity. Firstly, elevating your legs can help alleviate the swelling. Prop your legs up on a pillow or footrest to encourage fluid drainage. Avoiding prolonged periods of standing or sitting can also make a difference. Wearing compression stockings is another effective way to manage swelling. These stockings provide gentle pressure to your legs, which helps prevent fluid from pooling in the ankles and feet. 2. Dizziness and lightheadedness. One of the common side effects of taking amlodipine is dizziness and lightheadedness. These sensations can occur due to a drop in blood pressure caused by the medication. While dizziness and lightheadedness can be concerning, there are several strategies you can try to minimize their impact. Firstly, it's important to remember to get up slowly from a seated or lying position. When you change positions too quickly, especially from lying down to standing, it can cause a sudden drop in blood pressure, leading to dizziness. Take your time and allow your body to adjust before standing up completely. Staying hydrated is another important factor in reducing dizziness and lightheadedness. Dehydration can exacerbate these symptoms, so make sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day. It may also help to avoid alcohol and limit your caffeine intake, as these substances can contribute to dehydration and make dizziness worse. 3. Headaches Headaches are a common side effect of taking amlodipine, but they don't have to ruin your day. Headaches which usually goes away within a week of starting amlodipine. Getting enough rest and ensuring that you are well hydrated may help with headaches or ask your doctor or pharmacist for a pain reliever recommendation. 4. Muscle cramps. Muscle cramps can be an uncomfortable and painful side effect of taking amlodipine. These cramps, often felt in the legs, occur due to the medication's effect on the smooth muscle tissue in the blood vessels. While muscle cramps can be bothersome, there are strategies you can try to manage and reduce their frequency. One of the most important steps in managing muscle cramps is to stay hydrated. Dehydration can contribute to muscle cramps, so make sure you are drinking enough water throughout the day. It may also be beneficial to replenish electrolytes by consuming foods or beverages that contain potassium, magnesium, and calcium. These nutrients play a crucial role in muscle function and can help prevent cramps. 5. Flushing. Flushing, or a warm sensation in the skin, is another common side effect of amlodipine. It is characterized by a temporal redness, warmth, or darkening of the skin. It's usually in the face or neck. Female are more likely to experience these side effects than males. This is often temporary and harmless. 
If you find this sensation uncomfortable, drinking cool water or using a cool cloth on your face may provide some relief. Drinking cold beverages, keeping the room cool or spraying cold water on the face may help to deal with this side effect. In conclusion, remember, if any of these side effects become severe or persist for an extended period, it is important to consult your healthcare provider. They may be able to adjust your medication or provide additional guidance to help manage these side effects. Taking a proactive approach to managing the side effects of amlodipine can help ensure that you can continue benefiting from the medication while minimizing any discomfort or inconvenience. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. We wish you all the best for your health and well-being.